Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this video, we're jumping in with the all new TDS GTN XI Pro upgrade. That's right, they just dropped a new Pro version. And for us users that already have a TDS, well, now you can take your 750XI and 650XI navigation units and you can enable access to Navigraph data updates. So you can get the new air rack every time it drops, just like all your other SIM updates and Navigraph charts directly from within the units. So for users like me that already own it, there is an upgrade path to the new Pro version. So let's go ahead, click on products, and here we'll find the Pro upgrade for those existing users. When we come over to the page, it has an explanation, tells you all about it. I already read it. There's a video from A330 driver, so you can watch it more in depth. Then you can come on down and you can find the price. So it's 25 euro. Uh, that'll upgrade you to the version that is going to get access. So we go ahead and we click on the buy now button. And yes, I already bought mine, uh, so I can't buy it twice. But with the conversion rate through PayPal, this wasn't so bad for me in Canadian dollars, considering how much I use this product. Once you've purchased it, head back over to your account. And then once you're there, you click and download the TDS manager. So it's gonna download a new TDS manager for you. Uh, go ahead, put that into say your download section. Once it's done, go ahead and launch it. Uh, yes, it will say, hey, are you sure you wanna do this? Yes, I am positively fine with running this. So here it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna bring up the new TDS GPS manager 1011. You're gonna go ahead and obviously log in with your account. Then what you want to do is, in my case, I'm going to have to reinstall. You'll be, of course, showing that you have your Pro upgrade available and you need to uh, install it. I'm going to hit the reinstall button. So everything was successfully installed. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this down. You would have gotten on your desktop your two icons so we can launch the GTNXI flight sim uh, as well as we can get a link to the manual. We're going to go ahead and launch it. So as you can see here, preparing navigation database, please wait. Now we can see that we have our pro upgrade install. We now have a tab for Navigraph charts. So on Navigraph charts, we can see the cycle. And if you haven't enabled it, this is where it's going to prompt you for access. Uh, you can always switch back to the default flight charts, or you can go ahead and you can click on Navigraph charts. Uh, and if you're linked, it will automatically bring you in. So settings, so those haven't changed much. Uh, and then under avionics, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to launch the 650, or sorry, in this case, we'll launch the 750. So of course it's licensed to you, you hit continue, and now we can see that it is using the Navigraph database. Here's 2401 and it is expired. Uh-oh, that's not good. Okay, well, at least we know we have the right database and we know we can go to charts and we know we can go to JFK, we can go to approaches. We can click on a specific approach, it will load the chart. We can zoom in, we can move around on it. This is all pretty cool. We need to upgrade our air rack though. So let's go ahead, close that down and launch Navigraph Hub. With Navigraph Hub open, you can see I need to update my Navigraph cycle for the main sim. So that needed to be updated to Rev1. I don't use the in-game charts panels and you can see my CRJ and my PMDG, those need upgrading on this SIM. Uh, so again, I got a couple different computers. Now when we head over to Microsoft Flight Sim, installed outside simulator tab is now where you find the TDS SIM software upgrader. So here it knows that it needs an update. So we're gonna go ahead, click on the update. We're gonna wait for that to finish. It is now installed. We can go ahead, close the hub. We'll fire back up the GTN XI. As it's preparing the Navigraph database, please wait. And it fires up, touch screen to continue. It's licensed to me. And now we can see that 2402 is current until March 20th when we get to do the air rack cycle all over again. 
With all that said, I think you guys should head on over to the tdssim.com website, click on that link to upgrade. And if you were sitting on the fence before because your biggest concern was Navigraph charts and Navigraph data, well, you no longer need to worry. Head over, grab the GTA and XI Pro and get going. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't, come along on the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.